We're in luck. I can see some hyenas lying in the grass. There could even be a den site there. Yeah, no. Hard to be certain what differs from the den sites in the Mara compared to those in the Sabi Sands is that a lot of the termites that do their business here in the Mara do it subterranean so their, their mounds don't stick up nearly as much out of the ground as the ones in South Africa. So you tend to find that the hyenas' dens are not as easy to notice or see, yet there are often networks of burrows below the ground. I cannot be certain if there's one there, but there's certainly three hyenas taking it easy. And I'm just going to scan around and see if I can't find any more. Nope. The hyena clans up here are incredibly clump complex. And again, it's something that we are all looking forward to getting to know a little bit better. The clans can be as big as 100, sometimes 100 plus, which is mammoth regarding hyena clans. It's a place that they thrive here in the Mara. And it's also important that I say a big reason why they thrive is not because there's lots of easy meals for them to scavenge. It's because there's lots of easy meals for them to hunt themselves, especially during the migration months. I've heard of stories of hyena taking down five or six wildebeest in a very short space of time, 15, 20 minutes. So they are killing machines that do not only scavenge. However, like most wild animals, they will take whatever route is the easiest. And that's no different to lion, leopard, cheetah. They all scavenge when they can. So it's important that we don't just paint the hyenas in a bad light because it's common practice out here. If you are big and strong, you get what you want. And a lot of bullying and stealing of food happens throughout all the species.